the Colligate Arcane Mystic Battle Wizards, coming up next. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Kit Unboxing video, and today we are going to be looking at the Colligate Arcane Mystic Battle Wizards. This is, of course, a cool set from Games Workshop, which you can now use in your Cities of Sigmar army lists. So, without further ado, let's go down to our bench and take a look at these amazing models. Out of the magic schools of the world of Warhammer, the Colligate Arcane Mystic Battle Wizards make their appearance tonight on our Monster Hobbies Age of Sigmar Battlefield unboxing video. And as you can see, this kit contains four Citadel miniatures, which you can actually build in many different ways. These guys are really cool. You get you know, you can build a Fire Wizard, or Dark Wizard, Wizard of Hish, Wizard from the Shadows. All kinds of cool things. Turning the box over, it's kind of interesting here. Let me just bring the camera back up a little. You can see here that it says Battle Mage is worth 100 points. Which is interesting because they went from 100 points, dropped down to 90 in the Cities of Sigmar book, and then have recently come up to 110 points. So these wizards have been sort of up and down. As you can see, there's many different ways to build these. In fact, eight different styles. And then here, they actually have the Mystic Battle Wizards as a set. All four wizards would be 400 points in whatever system this was. Should now be about 440 points. And of course we get our little Citadel paint chart right down here as well. So let's turn this box over and open it up. Which has a lock flap in there. And now we can take a look at our components of this kit. And in here of course we also have our instructions. So you get instructions and two sprues in gray. It's just identical sprues. However, like I said, you could build the wizards in many different ways. And you also get, of course, your round bases for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So let's take a look at this a little closer. Next up we have our instruction sheet here, and it's interesting that this is still the old square bases, and it says Empire Wizard on here. So they haven't really updated the instructions in all this time. Although they have updated the box and, of course, added in round bases and eliminated the squares. So as we open this up, we can see one style of wizard in which we can build. This is, I guess, body A going together. Get the high collar in the back. You have your options of either a, a flaming ball here, a sword, fiery sword, a regular sword. And then on this end, various different wizard staffs and whatnot and choices of different heads to go into this body. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and as we move the instructions across again, of course, you can see all these different types of weapons. These are a wizard broad. And of course, the hand is holding a magic ball here. And then we get our different heads going on again. The body's going together, a sigh. Uh, there's a brazier with the fire coming out. A rod with a snake on it, one with the Sigmar icon, many different things. And then finally on the back, again, different type of wizard. So you can see there's like a magic potion with the smoke coming out, a little dagger. This is a skull with candles on it. There's an hourglass. Of course, there's hands underneath there. There's also a book that's open. Of course, different heads again. And then with this arm, staffs in the other hand and of course there's all our staff tops again so as you can see this is a very you know just for having the same sprues twice you do get a wide range of different wizards you can build so you could also get two of these boxes and you'd be able to build a one wizard from all of the different magical realms Originally, this model kit sprue came out in 2007 from Games Workshop, and I'll tell you a little story about that at the end of this video. But for now, let's look at the plastic components. So, of course, here we have Wizard Body A and Wizard Body B, and by gluing these outer arms and cape bits to them, you create your sorcerer, or your battle mage, actually. 
So on this part here, we have this battle mage body with the wavy ribbons coming off it. Uh, here is a, there should be a hand in here somewhere. And then this one has the staff raised upright, leaning up against the inner robes. This sprue has the robe with the open hand for casting a spell. This one has the rod sitting in there with the crystal ball. There's a raised hand, and then here we have, of course, another staff being held. There's a bit of a ribbon there, shorter one. Then here we have a flask with a death head popping out as a magical spell potion that's being cast. Here we have the magic book. Then we have the Sigmarite type staff. We have the snake staff. We have the burning bra brazier. We have a regular sword. We have a fire sword. We also have a wavy dagger here, a skull head with flames coming off it, a wizard with a tall hat, an hourglass, a wizard, bald-headed wizard with the Egyptian-style beard, and then we have, of course, the skull with some candles on it. We have what's sort of known as a fire wizard head with a split V hairdo. Then we have the bald wizard here with a little beard, and we have the pointed hat wizard with this very long curved beard coming out here. We have a scythe. We have a rod head here that sort of is reminiscent of the big celestial ball on the top of the celestial hurricane model kit. And then here are different neck braces and that sort of thing to go up behind the wizard's head. So as you can see it's a very cool little sprue. I just realized that I did a great injustice in this video by not actually bringing this sprue up to the camera lens. And remember you get two of these in the kit, so you can build four wizards. So here's the wizard's robes, and there's the arm with the staff sticking out. You can see the nice detail work. Here's the ribbon that's flowing out in the breeze. There's that arm that's being raised up, so you could put like the spell book or whatever in there. There's wizard body A. You can see the nice detail in there and wizard body B. One guy's got, I think, yeah, nope, the legs are the same, sorry. I thought they've switched feet, so one was standing left and the other's right, but it's not happening. There's the hand with the little crystal ball, or fireball, whatever you want this to be, with the rod in the cape. There's a little hand casting the spell right there. And then the other staff with the flowing ribbon. And then you can see the nice detail work in the potion bottle with the skull head. Then the book. And of course the different rod heads. And the scythe and the celestial hurricanum looking rod there. And the back collars. The different heads. There's a tall hat. Pretty nice stuff, the flaming skull. I do believe, let's just turn this flaming skull head over. Oh, no, it's got a little hand in the back. But I was thinking, <laughs> you could kind of alter this a little bit, maybe, and use this as a wizard's head, which would be interesting. Skull head. Maybe that could be the wizard from Shaiish, Realm of the Dead. So anyway, there's the flaming sword in the back. See the nice detail looking in the book there? You can actually see the pages on the backs of the necks, the collar pieces. They're smooth. I thought there was a little ornate thing in there, but maybe not. This is a neat rod, too. On the back, you got some scroll work on the different cape ends. So let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six different cape sides for the two different A and B bodies. So you do have some differences you can build on your wizards. Oh, note that uh, they have A and A. Oh, that's wizard C. You can make a C wizard here. B and B. Or you can use combinations of both. Doesn't really matter. Of course, this is your model, so have at it. Anyway, there's the part sprue under a little better magnification. Now, you may be wondering how these wizards go together, and this is basically it. This is a little diorama I made back in 2007. Now, what happened there was that as being a Games Workshop retailer, 
I was actually given one of those sprues when this model kit first came out, when I first signed up with Games Workshop around 2006. Now, of course, this was a 2007 release, so around that early, early time with me in Games Workshop. So what I did was I built up the two wizards that I got from them, and I also built this neat little diorama here, uh, using some, like a door from, I do believe this is a white metal door from one of the... Uh, confrontation things or something like that. This is a little square base with some legs I made from evergreen styrene and I used a bunch of components, different things. This of course is plastic sheet in the back with all the nice detail on it and uh, different things like that. So you can just rotate this little diorama around. You can see that I, I call this the wizard's battle because I was a little naive as to how all this worked back in the uh, early days. <laughs> So I made this nice little diorama and I, of course, painted like the white wizard who's just sort of discovered the black wizard's evil, you know, hideout or whatever. The dark, light magic and dark magic, I should say. And of course I wanted them to have a little bit of a battle here going on. So I painted up. Unfortunately, you can't really see too much on the, the dark magic wizard. And some of this is kind of plastic kind of moved and peeled off the edge of this little diorama I made. And as you can see I got brick on the back here and on the front it's more like stonework inside the castle. This was a Zevzda castle piece, the little window. And of course because this is spaced out a little on the wall I did a neat little spray thing to sort of show like a sunset. And then this was a burning brazier thing that's supposed to go on one of the ends here. I used Tamiya uh, transparent paints for that effect. And then on the back wall I used a little bit of yellow spray paint and I sprayed it up here as if we're getting a little light refraction. It was my first attempt with the light refraction. Keep in mind I built this kit about 2007. Now we're sitting at uh, 2020. The horrible year. <laughs> anyway, this is of course the wizard's battle. That completes our look at the Colligate Arcane Mystic Battle Mages, or Battle Wizards as they're called on this box. So how are you going to build yours? Are you going to build a wizard from Azir? Or maybe Akshui? Or Shaman? Or Shaish? Or Ugal? Or Gairan? Or Gur? Or any of the other realms that I might have missed there? How are you going to build yours? And what parts are you going to use based on this kit? Let us know down in the comments below. And have fun building your models. Well, I hope you enjoyed this amazing video and that you will check out our amazing Warhammer figures at www.monster-hobbies.ca or come visit our store in person, Unit 42B, 11th Avenue, Southeast High River, Alberta, Canada. So until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoy your wizards and happy building.